Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 438, find all anagrams in a string. So given two strings S and P, we need to return an array of all the start indices of my P's anagrams in S. So we need to find the starting indices of all the anagrams of P in S. Okay, now we will see the logic. So we need to find the anagrams of P here. So here the possible anagrams are AB and BA. So we can also assume this as a permutations. Okay, anagram is nothing but another word for permutation. Okay. Also, the anagram should be continuous in my S. So for example, I can have BA or AB and followed by some other characters, but I should not have something like BEA, okay? Something that is irrelevant to my anagram. So it should be continuous, okay? So initially I will create two counters for both of my strings S and P. And the counter for S will be based on the length of P, okay? Length of P is two. So I will only pick two characters in my S and I will create a counter for that particular characters. Here the first two characters are A and B and I have stored for A for S1 and for B as 1 as well. So these counters will be the frequency of my characters in that string. Okay. But for P I will create for the entire string. Here A, B is there for P. So A will be A has occurred once and B has occurred one as well. So these counters are frequency of my characters in that string. Okay. And S is only for two characters. Since the length of P is two, I will consider only two characters for S and I will create it based on that. Okay. So then this, I will have a window something like this guys. So can you guys see this? This window is nothing but the length of P. That is I consider for my counter in S. Okay, length of P. So I will first have this window. Initially, I will have A and B, right? So this length will be length of P, that is two. So I will consider first two characters in my loop. So I'm going to write a loop in the range of length of S minus length of P which is nothing but 4 minus 2, which is going to give me 2. So I'm going to run a loop from 0 to 2. Okay. Then this loop will be my indices. Okay. Indices of my permutation or the anagram of my P starting indices. Okay. I will show you guys how it's going to work. So here I've written 0, 1, 2 and 2 exclusive. Okay, I'm not going to include 2 in my iteration. Okay. Code only works from 0 to 1. Okay, it doesn't include 2. So initially I will be checking whether my S counter is equal to my P counter. So here they are both are equal, right? So I'm going to append this index since my first iteration will be 0th index, right? So I will append zero in my result set. Okay, for example, I will keep it like this. Okay, so zero is the first starting index of my anagram. Okay, now what I will do is, I will pick the first character since zeroth index, right? So I will pick the zeroth index character in my yes. So here it is A. Then I will reduce, I will decrease by 1 in my S counter for that particular character. Since here it is A, I will reduce by 1. I will reduce the frequency by 1 of the character A in my S counter. Okay. Then I will write a condition whether that particular character is equal to 0, I am going to delete that. Okay. It's like I have finished this particular index and I'm going to put throw this out of my window. Okay. It's like I'm throwing this one out of my window. I'm going to extend my window something like this. Okay. I will extend the window. 
how I'm going to include this a in my s counter and I will make that one as 1 or if it is already present I will increment it by 1 since here there is no a I will make that one as 1 I will show you guys once again since I have finished this particular index I am extending I am including the next character in my window that is the next a initially my window was something like this I am extending my window now like this I am including my a here so I am going to increment by 1 now I finished for 0th index ok now I am going to pick 1 so now I will check whether s counter is equal to my p counter yes here it is same right we can see that my, this is my anagram of p right so I'm going to put this number, this is the starting index in my result set. Now I will go to the character B in my S counter. I'm going to decrease by one. And if it is zero, I'm going to remove that. Now I'm going to extend my window and I'm going to include this one this character in my s counter which is b again so i'm going to include that one and i'm going to increment that by one okay so now the loop will come out right so i'm going to ha have a edge condition here so i'm also going to check separately before returning my result whether my s counter and p counter is same here it is same right so if my last window is my permutation or the anagram then i'm going to return that index as well this index the last window if there is an edge case the last window index can be calculated by length of s minus length of p which is nothing but two right that is this this is my starting index so i will include two in my result set okay so if my last window is a permutation of the anagram, I will include that index by calculating separately. That is before returning my result set. So length of S minus length of P will give me the last window index if it is an anagram. Okay. I will check the S counter and P counter whether they are equal or not before returning the result. If it is true, I'm going to return the last window index by doing this calculation. Okay. Now we will see the code. Before coding, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially, I'm going to create an empty result set. Okay, now I'm going to create the two counters, the P counter, where I will count all of my character in P. Okay, I'm going to use the counter function. Then I will count the strings in S. So the count will be based on the length of P that I discussed earlier in the explanation. Okay, it will be based on the length of P. Now I'm going to run a loop, the indices, okay? This loop will run from length of S minus and length of P, which is nothing but zero to P in my ex explanation. Then I'm going to check whether my P counter is equal to my S counter. I will do this initially. If it is equal, I'm going to append that index. Okay. I'm going to append that index value. Now, I will throw that particular index character of my S. Okay. By decreasing that particular character's frequency by 1. Then... If that particular character is 0 after decreasing it by 1, 
okay i'm just decreasing it by one right so if it is equal to zero i'm going to delete that particular character from my s counter it's like throwing that particular character out of my window okay then i'm going to include the next character i will include by adding the that particular index value plus the length of p will give me the next character's index value okay i'm going to increment that by one which is nothing but i'm going to include that character in my window so then after running the loop if my last window is an anagram of p then i'm going to include that particular index starting index so i will calculate that starting index based on len of s minus len of p length of p okay then finally i will return the result i think it's fine let's run the code so the time complexity for this particular problem is the length of s okay so it will be order of n and the space complexity will be the order of k where k will be the the unique characters in my s okay thank you for watching this video please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys